Okay, so we are back in our discussion on engineering data analysis. So we are on the topic of the group frequency distribution of interval data. In this video, we are going to um, make a frequency distribution table for this given uh, set of data. So we have given our task force in the mathematical test. So we are going to make a frequency distribution table. So this could be a longer process. Uh, so we, maybe with this video will be divided into two parts but for this one so we will be first um, have the first step so we have step one maybe we just write step one here so that we have a clear we have a clear so step one so we will arrange our data from highest to lowest or we could have that one or vice versa from lowest to highest so either from ascending uh, or descending order so we will have the, this one in descending order so from lowest to highest so the very first technique in doing this one is because our data is uh, let's just say they are they are arranged randomly so we will try to have this group them first so for example we have uh, 0 to 10 this one then we have 11 to 20 21 to 30 okay we have 31 to 40 then 41 to 50 51 to 60 61 to 70 71 to 80 then we have 81 to 90 so if you believe you have a data that is higher than 90 so you have 91 to 100 so i believe this is enough then we will write here the data this is the one of the techniques in order for us to arrange them in higher in ascending or descending order so the first one is 47 so it's just change the color so 47 so 47 is between this one so we could write here 47 you will cash it out on the given then we have 57 so 57 is between 51 and 60 this is 57 we have 54 so i get 54 so we could crash out here 54 we have 48 so this is 48 then 38 so that is between 31 and 40 so this is 38 okay then we have 56 okay 56 then again we have 48 it's 48 then we have 56 56 okay so it's just this we are getting farther from our uh, screen so this is 56 then we have 62 so 62 is here then we have 52 okay 52 and we have 42 42 then another 42 52 then another 52 okay 52 then we have 47 then we have 60 so this one then we have 28 so 28 is between 21 and 30 so 28 then we have 66 so this is between 61 and 70 then we have 41 41 then we have 65 okay then we have 39 that is between 31 and 40 then we have 56 so this is 56 then we have 72 so that is between 71 and 80 then we have 53 I believe we will be running out of 
space for our 51 to 60. Okay, then we have 37. So this is 37. Okay, then we have 48. 48. Okay, 48. Then we have 11. Okay, then we have 17. So this is still between 11 and 20. Then we will have 42. Okay, so we just move a little bit here okay space so this is 40 we are in 42 okay then another 42 then we have 54 then we have 56 okay we have 50, so that is 41 to 50, so this is 50. Then we have 68, so we have 68. Then we have 62. Then we have 55. Okay, so just write, write it there. So we have here 55. 55 and after 55 another 55 so just move okay so 55 then another we have 62 then we have 68 then we have 82 so that will be here 80, 81 to 90 then the last one is 78 okay we are going to check the number of data so that we will not have any confusion we are going to arrange them so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 so 30 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So maybe we have uh, we have duplicate something in here. So this just count it again. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, uh, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, so it is 40. So we maybe uh, the the and during the initial counting, the first try, we, the first moment we count it, we have duplicate a certain count for a specific data. Okay, now we will arrange this from. I, uh, from lowest to highest so this is descending if you want to have it ascending it's okay it's up to you so to arrange this one you must also have the same um, the same uh, format like the event so that it could be easier for you to check the number of data okay so this is now okay for us because we have already transfer this that this set of data into this uh, presentation then now we will focus on this one so from 0 to 10 no so there's there's no entry so we will start with 11 17 so we have 11 and 17 so we'll catch these two okay then we will have I believe I have read it this a bit smaller so we have 11 and 17 the next we have 28 so 28 then we have 38 okay 38 then we have 39 okay so 39 so we have five so because the given we have five uh, rows so we just have this one uh, five rows also. Okay, so I believe we are trying to arrange this one, so we made a mistake. So just erase first. So 
this one, the lowest is 37. So we first write 37. Okay, 37. Because we are trying to arrange this one from lowest to highest. We have 37, then 38. Okay, so 38. So the 39 we just will it in here. 39. Okay. Now we will go to this one. So we have we have the 40. So we have 41. So 41. Okay, next to 41 is 42. So we have 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 42s. So we have 42. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Next, we have 43. There's no 43. 44, no 44. 45. 46, no, so we have 47, so we have 247, so 1 and 2, so we have 247, so 1, 2, 48, so we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, so we have 248, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 or 3, 3, 48, so 3, 48, okay? Then last 49, no. So we have 50. So we have here 50. Okay, next we will go to 51. Okay, so 51. So there's still 51, so we have 52, so we have 1, 2, two. so there are, there are only 2, 52, so we have 52, and 52, then we have 53, so 1, 53, so we have 53, 54, so how many 54, so we have 1, 2, so we have 2, 54 so 1 2 then we have 55 so we have 55 so 1 2 I believe there are only 2 55 so 1 2 then 56 so we have 1 2 3 4 so there are 4 56 so 1 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4, 56, then, then we have 57, okay, 1, 57, so all are brushed out, so we have 57, then we will go to 60, so 60, so I just put a 60 here, uh, the 60 must be put in here, the description is 51 to 60, but it's okay, we we'll write here 60, we have 1, then 61, no 61, 62, we have 1, 2, 3, so we have 3, 62, so 1, 2, 3, is there only 3, 63, so no 63, 64, no, so 65, okay, 65, 1, 65, and we have 66 so we have 166 66 okay 1 2 3 4 5 then we have 68 so we have 1 2 so 68 so we have 1 2 then we have 72 1 then we have 878 so 178 and 80 Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so that is 40. So we have now arranged our data from lowest to highest. If you want it to be arranged from highest to lowest, so you just reverse. You just write first 82, 78, 72, 68. So it's up to you. So now we will try to determine the range.
Okay, so in getting the range, so we just need this formula. So state two, so let's not go back to red. So this will be step two. So getting the range. Okay, getting the range. Okay, so in getting the range, so we must uh, write here the formula. So R is equal to the highest value data, the sketch V, minus the lowest value or the highest score minus the lowest score. So in our given or our example that will be the highest is 82 and the lowest is 11. So we have 82 minus 11 that will be 71. Okay, so that is how we are going to get the range. Now we will try to determine the number of intervals. So that is step 3. So determine the number of interval. Okay. So usually in getting the number of interval we have the uh, k rule. So we have the 2 to the k rule. So meaning so if this is our k, this is 2 to the k. So for example you first 1, so 2 to the power of 1 that will be 2, 2 to the power of 2 that will be 4. And we have, let's just continue this one here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this will be 2 to the power of 3, this is 8. And this will be 2 to the power of uh, 2 to the power of 4, that will be 16. So this will be 32, this will be 64. And 64 times 7, this, this will be 128. So that is the 2, 2 to the k rule. This, uh, you are going to use this one if you are going to determine what is the what is the number of interval you have. For example, 71. So your range fall to 71. So this, you will find the first uh, value of k in which you can contain your 71. For example, in this one, if you are going to have our number of the interval as 6, 64, so it is beyond the range. So our 71 is contained at the 7 uh, interval. So this is where we could find our 71. So that's why we will have 7 interval. So if we are going to have our interval as 7, so we will now have the interval size. So our interval size is um, so we just write here and the interval size okay. so that we could do it immediately. So the interval size is equal to the um, is equal to the number of interval or the interval size So the interval size is equal to it is equal to the range over the interval. And we could have that one as 71 over 7. So this will be equal to let's have here our calculator. So let's just move our calculator. So so that we could, uh, you can see on the screen. So this is 71 over billion 7. So we have it's equal to 10.14. So we have here, so we have here 10.14. If you are going to round this up, this will be equal to so you must always have your interval size um, in add, add so that our our lower and up, upper limit will be uh, continuous 
or will be in decimal form so this is 11 so in in 11 so in getting the distance between each other or the what's so called that the 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 lower and the upper limits so we have our is our class uh, interval size will be divided to 2 so it must be continuous or in in decimal so we have 11 divided by 2 so this will be 5.5 so we are expecting that our uh, our table or our frequency distribution table will have seven seven intervals then each interval will be the size will be 11 the distance between the upper and the lower 11 and the in between of this will be 5.5 so that is how we are going to do that if you are if you are given the freedom to choose the number of interval and the interval size but usually to have a uniform so that is the 2 to the k rule for us to have a u uniform presentation of data so the number of number of interval so the number of interval the standard is between 5 to 20 so 5 being the lowest and 20 being the highest so in our class so we will have the number of interval our i equal to 15 so meaning your interval size will not uh, will not uh, will be equal to 15 you have 15 rows okay so maybe sometimes we are going to round up it will uh, become lower than 15 okay so this this is our um, number of intervals of 15 so to get the interval size so we will have here the range over the interval so we have 71 over 15 so let's use here our calculator again so we have 71 over 15 so this is equal to 4.7 so we have 4.7 so we always round up to the next uh, to the next um, add number okay and that will be equal to five okay so our um, our class interval divided by two so this will be five divided by two this will be two point five so this is very important now now we will go to creating our um, real so step this will this will be step I believe three. Let's check first. Step three. Ah, step four. Okay, sorry for that. So this will be step four. Okay, step four. Okay. So step four. So we will have we try to determine our. Uh, lower real limit and our upper real limit so this is equal to uh, our highest value minus our is over 2 and this is equal to the highest value plus the interval size divided by 2 so this is equal to Five. So the, our highest is, I believe, let's just go back. So this is 82. So we have 82 minus IS over 2 is equal to 2.5. So this is 2.5. Then our highest value, 82 plus 2.5. So we will end up with this is maybe equal to. Um, Let's just use our calculator. I believe that is 79.5. So 82 minus 2.5. So this is 79.5. Okay, we have here 
79.5 then this one is 84.5 so on the next so this will be uh, the uh, lower real limit and the upper real limit so on the, this is how we are going to do this now on the next video we will now enter uh, have the entries of our table so we will now try to create the table based on the uh, data that we have done okay so thank you for watching this video and as always keep on studying